Hi. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hello. I'm going to wait a few more minutes. It's not quite 7 o'clock yet. Just coming out a little early so you guys can hop on in. Give everybody time to get in here. Hello. If you're just coming in, say hi. You know you're here. Hi. Welcome, everybody. I got a really good card for you guys tonight. I'm excited about this one. I'm always excited about my craft, though, but this one I'm really excited because it's a new and it's a new technique that I'm going to be using with painting, and I'm kind of going out of my comfort zone. So this should be interesting. Hopefully it all goes well. <laughs> so if you're just coming in, say hi. I would love to be able to talk to you all. I'm just looking over here to see who's coming on. I'm on live on Facebook and YouTube. So if you're on Facebook, say hello in the comments. If you're on YouTube, say hi there too. Just so you know, you can follow me on either one. I'm live on both. Seven o'clock. Usually on Fridays, but I'm coming out on Saturday too because I did something yesterday. Um, it was really important. So I had to be there. It was for one of my kids. So if you're just coming in, say hi. Let's see. I like a couple more minutes. Hi. <laughs> You're just coming in on Facebook. Hello. Welcome. Say hi. Get started in a couple minutes. Still waiting. Hi. Hello, Cindy. How are you? We're good. How are you? Are you from Florida too? If you're just coming on Facebook, say hi. You are. What part? What part of Florida? Is this your first time on here today? Okay, I think I'm going to start. So what I'm doing tonight is another wood kit that I have that is going to be available in my shop, my Etsy shop, which I'll have the link on YouTube in my description box and I will have it. Oh, small. okay, Rip my ears. Oh, okay, awesome. Beautiful weather today here. <laughs> Don't want to say that to my friends, but yeah, it's beautiful weather here today in Florida. It's supposed to be like this. It's supposed to stay nice like this for a while, I think. So that's really cool. Okay, so this wood kit is going to be in my Etsy shop. So um, I will have the finished one that I'm going to craft tonight on there. And I'm also going to have it available for you guys if you all want to check it out. What it is, this is an angel wing spindle kit. So you're going to get the wings and you're going to get a cross that goes in the center of the two wings. And then it's going to have all these little pieces, which are really easy to put together, guys. You can't, it's like, kind of like a puzzle, so it's not that hard. And then you just put them on here, which you can put it together. And then um, 
We're gonna make this look really rustic and vintage looking because that's what I like. So that's what we're going to do tonight. So I'm gonna start with my burnt ombre. Don't worry, I'm getting, I'm going out of my comfort zone tonight. I'm not gonna do just creams and browns. So don't worry, everybody. I'm gonna change it up for you guys. Um, I found this um, woman on Facebook that I love watching her. She um, uses, um, she, she likes the colors I like too, but she uses, um, she used different colors and I thought it was really cool. And she also made some texture to the paint. So I thought that would be fun to do. So the first thing I'm doing is just using the burnt amber and I use a sponge all the time. Most of the time, anyway, to um, paint my projects. And I do it mostly on my lives because it's really quick and you guys don't have to sit here all day waiting for me to dry everything. So if you're just coming on, say hi. And if you're just coming on on Facebook, say hello. And I'm also going to paint all of these as well, all the little pieces. They're all gonna be with the same color, burnt amber. And then we're gonna do some different with them, which is super fun. I'm hoping it's gonna work out. So what is everybody doing this weekend? Anything fun? Anything new? I'm crafting this weekend. It is my son's birthday today. He turned 10. Hi, Pat, how are you? I hope you're feeling better. Uh, me, I'm in um, I'm in Daytona Beach, so I'm on the East Coast. We were in Palm Coast for a long time for a few years, and then we moved back to Daytona. So I like it in Daytona. I really do. So now I'm going to paint the other one. Actually, I'm going to paint the back first. Let me do that real quick. Put that aside to dry. You're doing much better. That's great. I'm so glad to hear that. You still can't talk much. That's like the last thing to come back. I've had pneumonia quite a few times, so I know it's hard to get your voice back. It's terrible. Well, I'll keep praying that you recover quickly because that's what we want. Oh, okay, New Smyrna. Yep, that's really close. That's super close to us. New Smyrna is really nice. Really anywhere in Florida, I think, is nice. I really do. It's so pretty here. I mean, you really can't complain, right? We have such nice weather. I don't miss being up north. I don't miss the snow. Um, I miss my family, though. But um, other than that, I like living here. If you're just coming in, say hi. Hi, Mom. My mom's here, too. My mom's on Facebook, though, not YouTube. Everybody likes... This is why I do both. Because I know some people like YouTube. Some people only like Facebook. So I figured... If I could try and do both, that's what I'm going to do. And it ended up, but I was able to do that. So, all right. So now I'm going to do the little pieces with the same paint. Now there's a lot of painting tonight. So I hope you guys are ready for that. <laughs> Quite a bit of painting. So I apologize now, but, you know, that's what we're here for. We're here to craft, right? We're here to craft. 
Now, I'm not going to do both sides of these because these are just going to get glued down. So I'm not worried about it. But let me make sure that I have the right one. Yes, I do. Make sure I have the right one on the right side that I'm painting. I try to keep these in order so that I don't mess them up during my live. Because I'm like, I don't want to sit here like, oh, wait. But it's not that hard. I mean, the pieces, you can kind of tell where they go. So it's really easy. And I'm just doing the dark paint because that's always my base color because I love the rustic vintage look. So I always go with the dark color underneath. And then we're going to go with a lot of bright colors this time, um, which I'm super excited about. But these angel wings, I could not pass up because they are so pretty. And I'm so excited to use them. So is anybody doing anything exciting this weekend? Anything going on? See, they dry really fast when you use the um, sponge. Anybody else just coming on? I'll let you know that I am crafting with a wood wing kit, um, angel wings with um, a cross. And these are available on my shop. And I also have the cross that'll go in the center, which you'll see me put together. I'll put everything together and you'll see it. Um, under that. And I really love this kit. It um, It's so pretty. But I figured instead of doing bunnies and all that kind of stuff, because we're getting closer to Easter now, so I figured we'd do something like this, because this is something you can keep up all year round. And then we're really going to start getting into spring, because, you know, spring's right around the corner. Well, actually, isn't it spring this week? When is spring? When's the first day of spring? Does anybody know? Did I miss it? <laughs> I don't even know. I thought it was when we turned the clocks, right? But I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if you know. And I know it's in March. Is anybody doing anything for Easter? If you celebrate, are you doing anything fun? We're just eating dinner at home, quiet. I mean, not quiet. We have a lot of kids, but <laughs> somewhat, you know. We're just eating home and, you know, the Easter bunny and all that stuff. All that fun stuff. And my kids still are young, so lots of fun. Hi from New York. Hi, Susan. Welcome. Where in New York? I'm from Buffalo, New York. And how is the weather there today? Are you guys having a warm up yet? It should start getting a lot warmer there. Long Island. I've been there. Very nice. That's beautiful there. I was in Long Island at one time, just once I was there. But it is a beautiful place. Yeah. Okay, so I think these are pretty much nice and painted. We're making an angel kit. Angel wing kit. Nice day. Great. But you need a fire pit. Yeah, we used to love doing the fire pit. That was my favorite thing. We used to go in the yard and just have a, oh, it was so nice. Here, you can't do a fire pit because, well, you could, I guess, but it would have to be like 
not even in the fall. It would have to be winter time here, basically. But yep. I really, I like the, um, I miss it. That's, I do miss that part too. So I'm just going to wash my hands real quick with the white baby because I'm going to start using the other paint. We used to do everything on our fire pit. We used to roast everything. I mean, of course, marshmallows. But we used to roast. Um, we used to have a, a like a camper, and it was really nice because we used to love it. And it was in Jamestown. It was near Jamestown, I should say. And it was so much fun because um, it was like a little getaway. And we used to have so much fun. What am I making? Okay, I'm making my angel wing kit. That's going to be in my Etsy shop. So you have the wings, and it's a spindle. So, like, they look like little spindles that go on top, and then there's a cross that's going to go in the center. Really, really cute. And I forgot to paint this. So let me paint this. I forgot to paint the cross. And, um... Yeah, so this one that I'm making will be available to sell and also, um, or you can make one yourself. It's a really cute kit. And this stuff, you know, you can leave up all the time. So that's why I like it so much. Yeah. I love making this kind of stuff. I think it's so much fun. Okay, so now that our cross is done, everything's done. So now what we're going to do is, you guys are probably going to think this is crazy, but bear with me. I promise it's going to be fun. First, I'm going to glue down our pieces to the top of these, okay? So what they are, like I said, you're going to get little, like flaps of wood that are going to go down. I'm going to glue those down, and then we're going to do our... Um, Hang on a second. I must have messed these up. Yes, I did. And then we're going to do our other pieces. And you want to leave them like a little bit, like not so close together because, what am I doing? There we go. Oh, wait a minute. You just got to make sure you turn them the right way. And you're not really going to see these that much. Not too much on you. But you want to leave a little space. There's like a little space that goes in between. So it looks like a ship wet. So that's what I'm going to do. But I want to make sure it's right before I start gluing. And you could use like just hot glue. But I'm going to use wood glue and hot glue. Just because I like that extra security just to make sure that it's... Um, you know, not going to come off and it's going to stay on really good. So that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to place these all down first and then I'll go in because I want to make sure that I also have my spaces in between. But you can kind of see where they go because the grooves on the ends of them fit right in. So it's not really that terrible to tell. Over here. My little pieces. There we go. And I did the wrong side on this one. See, I knew I was going to do that. I knew it. Because they're also intricate pieces. I've seen a couple people making these. There's so many different versions that you can do. So um, definitely do one to your style. Which side? I'm going to paint these, put these down. There we go. 
Oh, that side was much easier. Okay. Now we can glue them down. So like I said, I'm going to use a little bit of this super wood glue, glue them down. And then I'm also going to use hot glue. And I'm gluing these down first because it's just, because it's going to be a lot easier with the spindles to uh, do everything. You just want to make sure you get them in the right spots. Perfect. I also have um, some other angel wings that are in my shop too. That have uh that I haven't crafted with on here, but um for like you can give them as like a gift for if someone has cancer or MS or lupus or anything like that. And those are in my shop as well. And those you can craft as too. You can make them any colors, like the colors you know for cancer, like pink or lupus is like purple. So yeah, and I. I really love those too. And I'm thinking about making some and like just having some done too in the shop. I think that would be good too. Because some people, you know, they don't, they just want to buy it already crafted. They don't want to actually do it. So I'd like to have a little bit of variety for everybody. I'm getting lots of uh, little strands from my glue gun tonight. I'm gonna make sure that glue comes out. So anybody else coming in that just came in, say hi. Megan. If you're just coming in on Facebook, say hi. Oh, I got a little bit of glue in between. Once it dries clear, you won't even see it, but I still got to get it out. It'll drive me crazy if I don't. There we go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's very calm. Oh, yeah, you would think, you wouldn't know I had so many kids. <laughs> They're all very quiet when I do my crafting because they know mommy's live and, you know, they got to be good, you know. I'm sure you guys don't want to hear them all screaming and carrying on. <laughs> so this is what it looks like once you, you know, put all the pieces down. Okay. And I did get a little glue in there, but I will put that out. And next, now what, now this is the crazy part. <laughs> this is the crazy part. So I'm going to use some strange colors, but you guys are going to see how really cool this is going to be. I'm going to be using my red crimson, crimson uh, by Waverly. Okay, we're going to use that. I'm going to use yellow maize. Don't worry, you're not. This isn't going to be the same thing. There's a lot to it. 
And then this blue. And this blue is, now this is acrylic paint. So this is folk art and it's, uh, it's like, oh, Calypso Sky, Collapse of Sky. Okay, so this one, I just like the color, so I got it. So. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use my little dish that I always use and I'll put some paint on. Each one I'm gonna put down and then I'm going to show you what we're gonna mix it with. It's gonna give us some texture, which I thought this was super fun. And I've never seen anybody use this technique before. Except her, and her name is Boxy and Boot? Boxy and Boot. Buttons, Boxy and Buttons. And she is on, um, she's only on, I only see her on um, Facebook. So she goes live a lot too. Um, and I really spilled that everywhere. Oh my goodness. Um, and I love her stuff. Gosh, she's just, she's really talented. Like, I wish I could be that talented. Um, I poured a little too much of this maze out, but that's okay. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this blue on here. And then I'm gonna mix it. And I know these colors are really bright and you're like, what is she doing? Don't worry, <laughs> I got it figured out. So I'm going to take some sand. And this sand is actually from the Dollar Tree. Um, and this is gonna give us some texture. And I saw her do this and I was like, what is she doing? Cause usually I'll use like a texture paste or I'll use, um, let's see what I'm gonna use. You can use like a, and I'm just gonna put, just for a little bit, you just want it to have some kind of a texture, like a little bit, you know. I'm gonna use my palette knife to stir these. The maze is like really, my maze color is really drippy and it's chopping, it should be thicker. Yeah, so see, this is what I want. I want like a different texture. So that's what I'm going for. I'm just going a little bit more to the maze because I dumped too much. Probably not even because I'm not going to be using that much yellow as I am the red and the blue. I'm going to use those colors a little bit more on this. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to wipe this off. And now I'm going to mix the other two. I don't know why my maze is so runny. It's chalking. Okay, so the red is perfect. Now I'll do the blue. And we will start painting. Wait. No, I think that's good. I think that's enough. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paintbrush. I usually use the little chippy brushes. And I'm going to start dabbing it, okay, on each one in areas, okay? And I'm going to start with the red first. And I'm just going to dip it in the paint. And I'm just going to dab it around. And like make these kind of like blotches of paint all over the place. And now the wings that she used in hers are a lot bigger. I mean, well, not a lot, but bigger than these. I made mine a little bit smaller on my machine only because I didn't want it too, too big. I just felt like this would make a good piece like on a shelf or, I mean, you could hang it up. You could put a hanger on it and hang it up too. But like, we're going to do the blue in between and just do a little bit of yellow. Just a little bit of yellow. 
And I'm going to put that one aside and do the same thing on the other one. And I'm just dabbing, just going in a dabbing motion and just dabbing it on because that's going to give it texture too. But wait till you see how cool this looks. It looks so cool. It's such a cool technique. I love trying new stuff, especially when it comes to painting because it's just fun <laughs> to try stuff. But I figured I would try this out with you guys and see how it goes. Okay, so I think that's good. I'm gonna put a little bit more here, red. Okay, so now I'm gonna dry this because you wanna dry in between each color because you don't want them all coming together. Oh, okay, bye Susan, have a good night. Thank you for stopping in. Anybody else come on on the live? On Facebook or YouTube, say hi. And I really want to make sure this is dry because I don't want the colors to blend together too much. Okay, so the next color I'm going to be using is the blue. So the blue, I'm going to kind of do the same thing, but I'm going to dab like around the red like that. Just like kind of go around it to fill in some of the dark areas. And I'm doing the same thing I did with the red. I'm just dabbing it on. But I want that texture. So I want to make sure I'm getting some of that sand on here. And I know you probably are all thinking, what is she doing? But I'm telling you, it turns out so pretty, I promise. I loved when I saw her do it. I was like, oh, I got to try it. So I'm hoping mine turns out as good as hers because hers looks amazing. And I did put too much paint on my thing. I hate wasting. <laughs> I always end up putting too much paint down. It's the only thing. I can never like figure out how much I should put down. I think, I, I don't know if I should have put more sand. I hope this is enough. Because the sand is what's going to help too when I go back and do another stuff. Just a minute. It's going to help. Okay. So now I got to dry the blue. And then we'll move on to the next. Right now it looks like a heart. Watching the paint all over it. Now, the yellow, I'm going to use a smaller brush and go around the edges of like the red. A 
Okay, I think it's dry. I just want to make sure it's really dry before I move on to the next one. If you just came on, say hi. I know this isn't my usual night, so I'm not getting my usual crowd that I normally get. Okay, so now the yellow. And the yellow, I'm going to use a smaller tip of the brush, and I'm going to dab around the edges of like the red, I guess you could say. Because I don't want a lot of, I don't want to, like you're not going to see a lot of this, a lot of it's going to be covered up, but I don't want to cover, I don't want a lot of yellow. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I don't want a lot of yellow. And I still want to see some of the brown too. So this is going to give us a super rustic look. Which you'll see. And I'm just kind of just blotching it on. No right way or wrong way. I mean, this, you know, you can't really make a mistake with this because it's so easy. I mean, it's just dabbing paint in different parts. I mean, you can use any color combination you want to. Um, I saw her use this color combination and usually I go with a lot of browns and creams. And um, hi, Darlene, we're making angel wings. Angel wings, um, which I think you're gonna like. <laughs> and I'm doing a special painting technique, so. I'm trying out that's new to me. Okay, so now we got the yellow on. And now we're going to dry everything. And then we're going to go over the whole top of it with. Thank you. We're going to go over the whole top of it with the plaster paint by Raven, which is going to cover most of it. So don't worry. I know it's probably like, wow, it's so bright. I'm not used to using bright colors. So I know you guys are used to seeing me do browns and creams and we're still keeping it there. I'm just bringing a little color in. But these angel wings are just so pretty. I'm just hoping it's gonna work like it did for her because she was amazing when she did it. It was like so cool. Do you guys notice, am I fuzzy? The picture don't look that good. I don't know if it's my internet. Okay. I think that's good. Okay, so now I'm gonna get these paintbrushes out of the way here. And the paint, which I used way too much paint. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna mix some of the sand with the um, paint as well. So, because I want that texture still, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right. So now we're gonna put this all over the top. Ooh. Hopefully I don't get too much paint down. Goodness. Okay. Ah. I think that's a little bit more. I just hate wasting, okay. So now I'm going to add sand to this paint as well. And this is just sand from the Dollar Tree. That's all it is. And I'm going to mix it. And this is going to give us our texture again. And I love to have all different kinds of textures. And I just think it's so much fun. All right. So now I'm going to get my paintbrush and we're going to paint over the top with the plaster paint. 
which this paint is like really goopy. I need a new bottle. So see how I'm going over the top now? Now I'm just, I'm just going to paint all over the top. So I'm kind of like going over what we just did. So you're not going to see it that, that much, but you'll see what's going to happen. It's going to be a really cool effect. Like the paint and this colors. Super um, pretty for Easter time, I think. And when she first did this technique, the woman that I'm talking about that's on um, Facebook as well, um, I don't know her first name. I watch her all the time, you guys, and I can't remember her first name. She might have said it, and I just, I don't remember. But she's, um, if you want to look her up on Facebook, like I said, her name is, uh, her name of her Facebook channel is, Facebook page is <laughs> Boxy and Buttons. and. Um, She's an amazing crafter, you guys. I just love watching her. And guess what? This time I didn't put down enough paint. So it's like either I put down too much or not enough. Let me try and wipe it here. Okay, there we go. That's the texture I want. This is like so perfect. All right. So I'm going to dry this, but I'm not going to like dry it too much. And then I want to get in between some of them shipwreck. Sorry guys, I'm just making sure I get around the edges. Okay, so now we're gonna dry this real quick. So what's going on? Anybody doing anything fun? <laughs> I keep asking the same question. This weekend, anything, anything fun? It's beautiful weather here in Florida. I don't know, how is the weather where you are, Pat? Hi, Deborah. welcome, welcome. Thanks for stopping in. We're making angel wings. Um, this is a kit that I make, that I made. And um, it's really super cute. So I hope you, I hope you like it. Okay. So now I'm going to take my little skewer and I'm just going to go in between where the little slats are just to get some of that paint out of there because I want, I like the ship flap look. So that's what I'm going for here. And um, just like where it's really close together. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to scrape this with my little scraper from the Dollar Tree. Let me turn my light on because it's getting dark in here. Give me one second. I forget about daylight savings time. <laughs> and usually I already have the light on, but since we changed the clocks, I haven't. Okay, so we're gonna scrape this. And all I am is using a scraper. And what it's gonna do is the sand that we mixed in with all the paints, it's gonna scrape off, it's gonna scrape more of the paint off and it's gonna look really cool. Now this is going to make a mess. So that I will tell you. And you're gonna see some of the blue and some of the yellow that's gonna come right through that we put on first. And it's gonna make this look so Oh, 
Now, if you don't like this look, you don't have to do what I'm doing. Just paint whatever colors you want, whatever colors you like. But I always like to push the push the level up a little bit, and I just love the distressed look, vintage. It's, it's just my thing. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting in between this one because there's a lot of paint in there. There we go. And I'm also going to go in with um, my sand. My sand it too. I'm going to sand it a little bit. So everything kind of like blends in together nicely. So look how cool that looks. Tell me that doesn't look cool. Is it just me? <laughs> I don't know. I love it. I think it looks pretty cool. And I'm loving how these colors go together. Like they just really do look good together. And see, you only see a little bit of that yellow coming through because I like the red and the blue. I think it just looks so cool together too. Um, I know I keep saying that cool, but it is. <laughs> I think it is. And these angel wings are amazing. I have to stand there more. Okay. And like I said, it makes a mess, but that's okay. I mean, it makes a mess because you're putting, you're mixing sand in with the, with the paint, you know, so it makes quite a mess. And there's that one. So there it is. So now those little spindles that I had, right? We're going to paint those next. We're going to do something a little bit different with those. I mean, not different, but somewhat different. Let me empty this real quick because I don't want this sand all over everything. You guys tell me what you think of that technique. Do you like it? I'm telling you, when I saw it, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, what is she doing? And then when I saw her do it, I was like, oh, that's so pretty. And I really liked it. And I'm not, I, I like, my colors are not, I'm not very colorful. So. You couldn't find, <laughs> you have a ton of snow. Oh my God. You couldn't find your fire pit. So you're back. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, no, you're not the one. I had two people that have a fire pit. Or is it just one? Am I not? I'm trying to watch the chat, and I'm sorry <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm not getting this straight. Okay, so. That part is done. So I'm just going to move these aside. And now I'm going to take the little spindles that are going to go on there. And I'm going to take my little, where to go? Oh, did I hide it? Yep. And I'm going to take that paint that we just did. And I'm going to color these with them. Now, I'm not going to do the yellow but I am going to do the red and I am going to do one in the blue and then I'm going to do another one in the, um, maybe I will do the yellow. Hmm. I'm not sure. Do I want to do yellow? No, I think I'm going to do red. Let's do it this way. Let me put them like this first so I can figure out what I want to do here. So this one's going to go here. So I'm going to do one side with the red. I'll do one side with the blue. Right one, yeah. Do this one with the blue. 
And then I'll do this one. Where's it, this one? I'm not going to do the yellow. I didn't want the yellow that much. So I'm going to do red, blue, and then I'll do th these two metal ones with the um, plaster paint. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm going to start with the red, and I'm going to use, this is a palette knife. You get these at Dollar Tree, too. The Dollar Tree has the palette knife. And I'm just going to dip it in my red paint. And I don't want a lot. You don't want a lot on your paintbrush. I'm just going to slide it down, like, like kind of go like this. I'm just going to like, glide it, basically, is what I guess I should say. Because I want to show some of that brown. So it's going to look like that. Okay. And I'll put that one aside. And then I'll do the next one. I'll do the blue next. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the blue paint. I'm just going to put a little on my palette knife. And you want it on the bottom of your palette knife, not the top. And then you're just going to slide it. Oop, too much. I just think it's a really cool technique that I just had to try. Okay, so there's the blue, and then we're gonna dry all these at once. And then I'm gonna wipe it off, and now I'm gonna do the plaster paint. Now that one, I'm out of paint, so I'm gonna have to pour a little out and make some sand with it. I don't need a lot, just a little. And what this is doing, if you're just coming in. Oh, you're in Colorado. Okay. Yes. That would be snowy. <laughs> yes. And I heard you guys, I think I saw on the news that you guys have gotten a lot of snow. How much snow did you get? It's been like really snowy there, like more than usual, right? At this time of year, am I wrong? And now I'm gonna do the plaster paint, same thing. And I'm gonna do that on the, uh, these ones here, smaller spindles. We call these spindles. I don't want to mix these up because if I mix them up, I'll be like, wait, which one does it go on? Okay. And then I'm just going to dry these real quick. I don't mind, you know, I use these mats. They're like the puppy mats, you know, that you use the pee mats, I guess, for your dogs. And I like using them to craft on. The only thing, though, is that when you use the dryer, it's so hot that it actually melts it. Oh, you got 17 inches. Oh. Now, do you like the snow, Deborah? Are you ski? Do you ski? I guess. Is she be saying? Like we lived in Buffalo, but I never, I never skied. We um, 
we did like snow, snow like flooding. That's as far as I got when it came coming down the snow, coming down hills in the snow. Okay, I just want to make sure these are really dry. Okay. Now, I'm going to put all this aside. I don't want to make a mess. Sorry, I always have to clean up as I go. It's just a habit. Yeah, I always do because I never want to clean up a lot all the time. Okay. Now, I'm just going to sand a little bit because I kind of want these all to, you know, look nice and smooth, like they all go together, all the colors. I want it to look, you know. So I'm going to start with these ones. And then I'll go back to the spindles. And I just probably mixed it up again. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm singing. Yes, I did. Okay, that one goes there. This one goes here. And this one goes here. Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure I get them right. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little sander. We're just going to sand these. And I'm going to really try and get like around the edges. And just really smooth it out. And I might go darker in some spots if I want more of that color underneath to come up. But I'm just loving the way this is turning out so far. And I have some of that sand on the edges, so I just want to get that off there. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, you guys. What I should do, though, is I should do a little bit of the edges, too. So let me do that, too. And I am going to use this again and get in between here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edges a little bit with the plaster paint and my brush. And I'm just going to like kind of do like a dry brush, which is like barely any paint on it. And go around the edges like that. And then the back, I'm not going to do on camera. I'll just do that up there. This way I don't keep you all on here too long. But I'm just going to do a really dry brush because I don't want to cover up all that brown. I like brown. Oh, you need the moisture. Oh, okay. All right. So I think those are good. That's good, I mean. Now I'm going to do the um, little spindle. I'm going to scrape these just a little bit, not too much. 
with my scraper. And then I'm going to dry it a little bit more. Just wipe this off so I don't get wet all over. Make sure that it's really dry before I start using the uh, sander to sand it. got to be really careful with the spindles because the wood's not that thick and you don't want it to break. And I say that all the time. And then I always end up breaking something myself. So I always end up doing it. And I'm just using a baby wipe a little bit to wipe a little paint. I don't want glops to paint on me. Now I'm going to sand them. Okay. And I'm sanding it because I don't want it to be real bright. I want it to be dull, dull. So you get, you know, the red's not super, super red. And I'm going to be using some dark wax on it as well. Okay, so there's that one. Sorry if the camera's shaking while I'm standing. I don't want to make you all dizzy. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then I'm just going to sand this down a little bit too. We can put it all together. Oh, I flipped them the wrong way again. Okay. So now I'm going to glue. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my things together. Another thing I'm going to do is get rid of all this mess. I'm going to clean it up and move it out and use my little vacuum <laughs> that I love so much. I'm telling you, this is a really favorite. It like picks up so much stuff. Especially when you're standing and stuff, it's perfect. Okay. Looks good. All right. So now I'm going to start putting this together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to, now people have been doing different things with these. So they have a piece that comes with it that you can put on the back to glue it. 
so that they stay. But I'm using popsicle sticks too because I want to make sure it stays. Which, I mean, not saying that's not going to stay, but, you know. Now, don't forget the back. I didn't do that. I didn't paint the whole back yet. So it's got some stuff on it. But what I'm going to do is just put the paint sticks like that on the back. And that holds it. That's going to hold it together. But I'm also going to put glue in between here, too. Because you're not going to see it because the cross is going to be there. So that's what I'm going to do with my hot glue and my wood glue that I love using so much. Flat ones. Yeah. So I'm going to use both wood glue and hot glue. I think I should use some here too. I'm just going to put a little bit where they meet in the middle and hold it. And then I'm going to put this down. And like, I was like, like always, I think I did too much glue. Which I always end up doing that. So I just want to make sure these are going to stay on here good. And then, of course, I'll paint the back with brown paint so it looks finished and nice. There we go. Pretty, right? I love it. I think it's so pretty. Okay. Now we're going to put our little spindles on here, too. That's next. I'm going to get all this stuff out of the way. <laughs> but it's like everywhere. There we go. I didn't want to put my paintbrushes away yet because I wasn't sure if I was. All right, so now we're gonna glue our little spindles. So I'm gonna glue this one down here, and then this one's gonna go here. And then I'm gonna do the blue one here. And then this one here, like so, just like that. And then our cross is gonna go in the middle, just being a sign because I'm going to dress that up a little bit too. And I don't know why I put my wood glue away. Okay. So I'm going to use just a little bit. I don't want this to goop out, so I'm going to kind of go in between. So do you guys like these colors? And this is so not, like, I'm not very colorful with my stuff. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm not colorful. I do use, I don't usually use a lot of bright colors. But you, I did see another version of this um, that was really pretty too. It was like a brown and just blue. And um, I liked it. And then they used just a little bit of uh, green color. But I thought it looked really nice too. But I wanted to try this. I was like, let me go out of my little comfort zone. Let's see if I like it. What I do. I really do. It's so pretty. Okay. We're going with some dark wax next.
Oh, I love it. Okay. I think I'm done with Oh, no. I got to hold on. So there it is with the spindles. How pretty it is. It's just, and there's so much texture. And then we're going to put the cross in the center with it. Okay. Now, what I am going to do is, I think I'm going to put, because I need to raise it up a little bit. I'm probably going to have to use two. I'm going to use two of, see, now it does come, it will come with this too, to glue your, instead of using popsicle sticks, I just chose to use popsicle sticks because I know I was going to use more than one. But it does come with one of these that will, you know, you would glue to the back like this to hold your wings together. But what I'm going to do is to raise this up a little. I want it to be even. I have like extra pop popsicle sticks that were left over from what I cut. So I'm going to cut this one. I'm going to cut another one. To raise it up. I think that should, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue these two popsicles together. So they're one. I'll cut these little corners off here. And then I'm going to put this in the center here like this. And that'll help raise it up for when we put it in the center like that. That's perfect. Okay. So you can even use a uh, cardboard to, to raise it up if you needed to. I mean, it depends on where you want to put your spindles because this comes with, you know, you can put your spindles on any part of the wing that you want to put it on. So it's just all depends on you and what you like. Um, but this is just where I chose to do mine. What I am going to do, though, is I am going to paint the back of this just because, just because I know it's not painted and I don't like it, so <laughs> I'm going to paint the back of it with the um, amber paint just because when you lift it up, you could see it, you know, and I, I don't know. It's just me. I always like everything to be finished, completely finished. And once I glue it down, it'll be a little hard to make it through. So and I think I'm gonna have to use a paintbrush because of the popsicle sticks. And now that I put the mat away, now I'm going to get paint everywhere. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm just going to dry it real quick. You was hoping I would do that? <laughs> yeah. I have to make sure everything's finished. I just, it drives me crazy. All right, so now that looks much better. And I use so many white bees, you guys. I go through white bees like crazy. It's because there's always a mess. Always a mess when you're crafting. And the white bees are just so easy to clean up. Okay. 
So I'm going to do the dark wax first before I put down my cross. So the dark wax, if you're new, I use the dark ceiling wax. This is in my Amazon shop. I always have links um, in the description box on YouTube, or I have it um, for you all on Facebook as well. And I'm just using a makeup brush, and I'm just dabbing it in the dark wax. And then actually, I'm going to use a paper towel, and I'm just going to rub a little on the paper towel. It's going to go dark in some spots with it. especially like around the edges. Now, if you don't like this look, you could just skip this. But this is what I like. I always make sure I say that every time because I know some people do not like this look. So you absolutely can skip that. Now, sometimes I use a stencil brush as well, um, which is, you know, just one of these little stencil brushes. You get them at Dollar Tree. And I use those to, to uh, you know, spread the um, wax. And if you get too much in some areas, you just wipe it with a baby wipe and it comes right off. And it also tones down your colors some if you don't like them, you know, real. So that's what I do. And I rub my finger on it too, because um, it helps spread it because it's a wax. So, um, it's another thing that I do with it. And in the beginning, when you're first using the wax, it's, it takes a bit to get used to it, I'm not gonna lie, because um, if you're not used to using it, but then I found out well, I could just rub it with my finger, and oh my goodness, look at it, it comes off with a baby wipe, so it comes right off. So if you do make a mistake and get too dark in some spots, it's okay. Now with the stencil brush, I will get in between some of these areas, these big nooks and crannies, because it's just easier. But I'm I'm loving the way this is turning out. So I think I'm gonna do another one and I'm gonna do it with that brown and blue that I was telling you guys about that I also saw and it was so pretty. If I find the picture of it, I'll post it so you guys can see it. Because those are really pretty colors too. They really were. And I'm just kind of like doing a little dab on the paper towel. And this red, I'm really going over good because it was a little too bright for me. Like, I don't mind it when it's Christmas or patriotic. <laughs> you know, then I like it. 
Then I like my reds a little more. I'm trying to get like next to the spindle areas and then in between, like I did on the other side. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Because sometimes the makeup brush is really hard to get in these little spots. So. Okay. I think that's good. I think that's good. So now I'm going to take my cross. Do that in the center, like so. And then I have these really pretty dried flowers that I'm going to put on here, too. Because I just think it'll make it look even more rustic and cute. So I'm going to use a little bit of the wood glue again. And then the hot glue to glue this down. I love it. It's so pretty. And it's so unique. The colors, everything is just so unique. And I love being unique. I just like that. So I got these dried flowers from Dollar Tree like a long time ago. I've had them for a long time. I just never used them. They've been in my they've been in my stash forever. So you can't find them. Hobby Lobby has dried flowers. Um Especially like when they have forty the percent off, but um, you can use any flowers. Um, like I'm going to be using a little bit of the sweet Annie that I get on Etsy because I love my sweet Annie. I just love it, and I'm just going to use a little bit like in the center, and then I'm going to use a little bit of these dried flowers. Well, dried flower, but this would be too big. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I might use, I might use a couple of these. Let's see, the skinnier ones. I'm gonna cut a couple off here. Let's see, and put it with the sweet honey. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. All right, now I have red ones too. I wanted to put a little bit of the red on there too. Only because you could see some red on here. So I thought, I didn't, wasn't sure if it was going to look good or not. So I'm going to see. Um, but when they had these dried flowers, I just got them. From, I've never seen dried flowers at the orchard before. And it was really weird to see them. But I only want a couple pieces. I'm not going to go red just a little bit that I'm going to snip off of here and I think oh yeah I think that'll be pretty because it's just a little bit it's just a hint of it you know it's not too much now these things I'm not sure because I don't know how I want to put them I kind of want to do it like that. So I'm going to stick these down first. And the sweet Annie gets everywhere, guys. It's dried, so. I'm going to do one like that and one like that. And then I think I'm going to bundle with some um, twine. I'm going to bundle these together with some hot glue. Just because 
it'll look nicer with the twine. And I'm just going to stick these. I'm probably going to stick these in. Sorry, guys. I'm so particular. <laughs> I can't help it. Like, I want a little hint of that red, but not too much, you know? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some twine and I'm going to put a little bit of glue at the end and I'm going to put my twine on the glue and we're going to wrap this around like a little bundle and then glue it off in the center, in the back, I mean, and then glue it on top of the cross like that. And then I'm just going to cut this piece off. And then we're going to put some glue in the middle like so. It just makes it look neat, I think. Oh, yeah. So pretty. I just feel like I need something right there. So I think I'm going to do, I don't know, what should I do? Should I do this? This is like on a wire. So I'm gonna see if I can put it on here. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be too big, but actually I like it. So this was on the dry flowers too. And I'm going to put it right here because it just looks like it needed something over here. There we go. I like that. Now I like it. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you. Thank you, Deanna. Yeah, I think it's so pretty. I love the colors. It's still a rustic look, so I think it turned out really really great. I really do. So like this you could hang or you could put it like on a shelf. Just lean it, you know, if you want to. Um, but this would look great. Like hanging up or on a shelf. I think it would be so perfect. I absolutely love it. So thank you guys so much for coming out again. This I know I wasn't here on Friday and I apologize. Um, but I will be here this coming Friday. <laughs> I'm not changing it to Saturday. It'll be Friday. Still, so I hope you guys come back and thanks again. And if you can share this video um, with your friends or family members um, and show it to them because I'd like to get more people coming to the lives and, you know, watching. Um, so yeah. Okay. And I will see you guys again next week. Bye.